Program complete. Auto engage time sequence synchronized. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Jamie Plays with me, Jamie. Today we're going to be continuing our playthrough of Star Trek New Horizons. We're playing as the Federation and we're bringing people like, or we're bringing the Klingons in. We've just vassalized the Ferengi um, in the hopes that we can integrate them that way rather than through the Federation Council mechanic, which is having some difficulty because of a slight bug with the Ferengi. Uh, oh, excellent. Broms gains 250 experience and we gain 500 physics research. That's nice. Yeah, so we are subsidizing some of our vassals. Um, so we are losing a bit of research. Can't build a mining station there. Okay. We knew that already though. That's fine. You are in there. Oh, migration treaty with the Zach Dorn. Yep, yeah, we can do that. Survey complete. Specialist subject conversion. That's why we're only at 12 per month. Okay. You are doing a three-year mission when you get there in about 40 days. That's beautiful. Those contacts continuing. We have a bunch of leaders not doing anything. Oh, including... Oh yeah, Kalar. Of course we did. And we have a uh, Tholian scientist. I don't remember hiring them. Anyway. Tholians. You are still at war, so we'll have to wait for that. Tolarians, you're suspicious of us. Can we... Your suspicious attitude is the big factor. So let's improve relations. Uh, no, we need uh, need to wait for our envoys to actually meet everyone. Down here, how much do you need before we can um, integrate you? So let's go for an associate member, independent diplomacy. Let's go like that. Come to all of mine, we'll come to all of yours. Um, no holdings. Actually, you prefer... Lots of holdings. I feel like that's backwards. But anyway, we're still missing a lot of influence for that, so we won't do that. Um, so, the Beth aliens, we're just going to have to keep trying. Oh, Hirogen. Going to meet the Hirogen in Idrin Star. There's the Hazari and the Tarai. We'll be meeting a lot of uh, Delta Quadrants people as well. Unicomplex 01, so yes, we'll be meeting. Oh, keep at it. Just have to keep trying for whoever you are. So flagship expedition, bold to go. Yep, that's good. We're meeting those three and that will be all of the situations. Yep, so that's completed. Uh, nothing else to worry about for our planets. We do have a new... that's Talos Miri. Let's see what's happened there. On screen we've met the Herogen. We'll greet you in peace. Okay, so you... This is the Rigel sector. Oh, this is not the sector I was thinking of. Uh, this one. This is the one that I need to have a look at. Alkali. You're only in the Renaissance age, so we're not going to be able to integrate you into the Federation either. So it's fine. Um, Herodian, Aberrant, Seizure, Castle. Do we still have the Aberrant pieces? Discoveries. We do have the Aberrant pieces, but I thought we were destroying that. Maybe the Zahian. Well, maybe in 288 days we'll actually have a. Yeah, I thought I was destroying that. Anyway, in 282 days, we can actually see what's happening there. So we also have the Ruined Darcy Array, so we can probably upgrade this after the Midas substructure is done in 262 days. Oop, on screen, we've met the Yadarin Union. They probably have something to do with the Dominion. Yeah, so how are we doing against the Rakari? Investigate defenses, hack communications, acquire asset. Let's acquire an asset. Um, and commence when ready and launch. I'm just going to have to keep trying with this. Oh, Hazari. We're meeting the Hazari over there. 
Oh. Activity near uh, United uh, Federation planet's border. Mysterious disappearances. Transports, passenger ships, and even whole outposts have gone silent. We should investigate this. So, we need to go. Commander with skill level 3 or higher needs to go here. I'm going to send... You only have the one Sovereign class. If we send Necheyev... You have five ships there. Hmm. No, you know what? Obsolete fleet. This is what I have you for. So that when something is destroyed... If something is destroyed, I don't actually know. Um... We're not actually losing that much. Speaking of, we do need more alloys. So I do need to start doing more upgrades for our alloys. Uh, this an extra job. How are we doing? Quadrazine is plus one. Currently it's upkeep of three. That would be upkeep five. The extra energy upkeep. You know what? Let's wait there. We need to wait until... Oh, like this, we can do more upgrades here. I don't think they're going to be oh, understood. The Sele Clutches are going to try to expand, but they have no room to expand, so it's a bit late for you. You're upgrading for the regional capital, that's the one I just did. I think the rest of those, there's nothing else to do there. So we won't, but I still need more alloys. Speaking of, we should be getting our Prometheus class and the multi-vector assault mode, yep, in three months. Beautiful. Intel on the Cardassians is falling. Oh! Tam Elbrum, Menden, Reginald Barclay, good. Michael Eddington, great. Um, we will enter into immigration treaty with the Medusans. In fact, with all of this influence that we have, can we also vassalize the Medusans? And I think the answer is going to be yes. So, um, through to all, all. Yet you prefer. Ah, it's just a slight difference, actually. You'd prefer without and unified. But you'd prefer that I give you more research. Oh, and you still don't like something. Overlord Conflicts. Let's say none. That you'd be really happy with. So let's go down. That you'd be happy with. 45%. You know what? Let's do that. Construction complete. You finish construction there. Why? Why are we not getting this dilithium? Another ship? Oh, another ship is performing that action. Okay, that's fine then. Happy to get as much dilithium as possible. So you have accepted, you're now converting, which means our influence will drop again. So why don't we go here and say, let's sell some things. Oh, Gilded Cage. The mineral construct is, for lack of a better term, a room. Made out of the same type of materials in common use in the Federation. Uh, let's see where, where this is. Ah, okay, this is just a random event. Oh, you've, and you've gained Voidcraft. Beautiful. And you can upgrade. Detail-oriented. Antiquarian World Shaper. Let's do World Shaper. Get rid of those. That looks good. Time Project is the Mysterious Disappearances, and that might be the cube. Wait, where is my obsolete fleet? 155 days, 263, so yeah, we're still going to be okay. Initiating communication. Migrations with the Lesepians, yes, let's do that. Lesepians are a vassal under us. You are still at war. You still don't like us. You don't like that either, because you're suspicious. So, Sele Clutches. Um, let's go for this associate. And we'll just do our standard stuff. Um, let's go to all of yours. 
None? 470? Yeah, 261. That would be better. We'll come to all of your conflicts, though, because I know you'd like that. So we're at minus 291. Oh, sorry, 191. That's my 181. Unified. So is it just the sense? Like, if I just did the research, yeah. Research is literally the, th the reason, but... 106. We still need 106 influence. Survey complete. So yeah, we need to wait for our influence to actually increase again. And hopefully very soon we're going to get this... Oop. Asteroid approaching Baku. So, pause. Hello, pause. And then, so, the Excelsior class and the Sydney class carrier. So, quick pause. Let's take this fleet here. In fact, we do have these two fleets now. Let's move um, two Vox fleet. Oh, hold on. No, let's keep you at the, the USS Titan fleet there. Let's move this second, let's move second fleet over to the Briar patch. 100 and... Oh, actually. You know, that's fine. Yeah, 100, that should be still enough you know, time. You really should be careful oh, when playing with high assets. Explosives. Okay, I don't know why that fired. So we now need to get rid of all of our Excelsior, not get rid of, merge with the obsolete fleet, all of our Excelsior classes and the Sydney class carrier. Um, because we now have a bunch of new ships, and that's what we're going to do. Oh, Galaxy X refit. Yeah, you know what, let's do that. So let's look at our fleet map, uh, hold on, let's go here and say. Uh, you don't have any. Um, let's go here, you don't have any. You do have an Excelsior. Let's do that. Uh, you are an Excelsior. Actually, what we could do... Uh, we're going to lose this entire fleet. Let's copy this template, um, but remove the Excelsior, and I'll come back to this one. So, 7th fleet. Um, let's have those merge for now. So, 3rd fleet. You have an Akira, which can upgrade. That's good. Um, we will do that in a minute. So that's you. Uh, you have two Excelsiors. Let's get rid of those. And First Fleet, you should also have, yes, yeah, three Excelsiors. Let's get rid of that. And then say... Yep, let's have all of these merge as well. Beautiful. So that, of course, means that we need to go through and um, replace these Excelsiors. Oh, Heavy Excelsior class in First Fleet. First Fleet? First Fleet. Yeah, Heavy Excelsior, there we go. We need both of you. And then... Merge. Just like that. So now... Let's get rid of you. And we need to look at our ships. So, Runabout, that's still the same. Deep Space Station, that's the same. So we have an experimental... Scout, which is our protostar class. Um, we do have the cadet crew. <laughs> let's actually, yeah, let's leave that. Dicyclic warp engine. Don't we need the protostar drive? Yes, we do. Cadet crew, interspecies crew. Yeah, in fact, cadet crew, in fact, the multi year mission crew would be better. Yeah, because the rest of these are not, not great. So, let's do that. Protostar class scout. Neural gel computer. Yep, that's skirmisher tactics. That's fine. Unimatrix regenerative shields. Impulse manifolds. Scout class sensors. Disengage. Warp speed. Ship speed. Yeah, let's auto complete. You know, but you still prefer this one. Whereas the... Oh, transwarp drives. We should probably put transwarp drives on our ships as well. So let's do the protostar drive for you. And... Uh, the scout, that's the only variant. And let's go for the... Yeah, let's go for the tactical, that's fine. 
EPS conduit, you also have a photon torpedo. Why don't you have more than just the armor piercing quantum torpedo? Let's add you as well. And then. So we can use torpedoes. Uh, armor. There, and you are good. Oh, let's do some hull damage as well, like that, and save. So that's our protostar done. Uh, deep Space Scout. Yeah, there's nothing else new here yet. Rhode Island Refit. Oh no, let's just leave that. Light Cruiser, nothing there. We have the Franklin. Oh, these are just our science ships. To say, yeah, Nova, the Nova Class Scout is fine. Centaur Steam Runner. We don't have anything else for the Steam Runner. Oh, so we have the uh, Parliament Class. Light Superiority. Okay, let's call you a Space Parliament. And say... Yep, Armor Damage and the EPS Conduit and... Interspecies Crew. Yeah, that seems to be the best. Dicyclic. Yeah, we can't put Transwarp there. Neural. Yeah, that's... Best we can do for all of these, I think. Escape pods, backup warp core. I mean, central structural uh, central structural integrity field sounds great, actually. And safe. Yeah, it really wants to change that, but I'm thinking that this this structural integrity would be much better. And then you fit. Uh, you're probably like a like cruiser. Parliament auto complete, and um, go there and save. In fact, you know what? Yeah, let's get rid of the default parliament. So we have our new troop transport, which is the Aegean class. We also have... Oh. Troop transporter. That's the only type of section we have there. That's a runabout. Um, four, four, one, and three. Three, three. Okay, let's just say the Aegean. Aegean class. Aegean class. Yeah, we don't need class class there. Let's go like that. Let's give you the holographic science station on for both of those. That looks good there. Engineering station. Nope, let's go for that. That looks good as well. Starfleet submarine. Uh, submarine, sorry. Starfleet marine division. Yes, and you know what? We're going to save that. Get rid of the Iwo Jima version. So then there's the Torpedo Barrage version, and a... No, let's go for the Troop Care. Uh, troop Carrier. And you're not technically an Aegean class. Oh, you're, you're an Iwo Jima class. So, Iwo Jima class. Save. So, these Intrepids are still the same. We have the new Akira, which is the Thunder Child refit. Thunderchild Artillery, yeah. You're a pocket carrier. I'm not going to do that. And so I'm thinking you are going to be the heavy Arki Ak Akira. Get rid of the normal one. And then the other one is going to be the Thunderchild Akira. Thunderchild Akira. Autocomplete and save. So superiority Norway, that should all still be the same. We still have the sovereign, that's all the same. Um, we now have the Vesta class. The Vest this is good. So we have a, a multi-mission Vesta. And I'm gonna give you the EPS conduit and the atomic dispersion field. Oh, and let's go for tactical quarters. Auto-complete. We have the mobile repair depot. Disrupts auras of all enemy battleships. Extended shields, fleet bridge. Now, you know what? I think I'm going to keep that as it is. So, one of you, one of you, and the field burst pattern for the hull. For the science, uh, I'm just going to do the holographic science station for all of you. Yep, and save. So, that's the multi mission Vesto, so we can get rid of the normal one. 
we have the advanced Vesta. Wait, what's the difference? Oh, sorry, I take that back. Multi-mission Vesta, save. We need an advanced version. Auto complete, advanced, and save. And then we need the phaser Vesta. Phaser Vesta, auto complete and save. Escape pods, holographic camouflage, graviton field, mega sweep, sensor. I'm still liking the structural integrity, to be honest. Save. Um, and on the. Where'd you go? So that was the phaser one. Let's go here. Mobile repair depot. Oh, yes, because you're a different type of Vesta. So, yeah, those will stay the same. These ones, that should stay the same, I think. Defiant, nothing there. We don't have. The, we never got the Sao Paulo refit. Um, do, do, yeah, we never got the Sao Paulo refit. Maybe that will be coming. So we have the Prometheus. We have the multi-vector assault mode. Do I need anything? So it said we had specific components, but I'm wondering if that's actually something that we need to add here. Or Mako, Human Crew. Now let's leave you as Mako, Dicyclic, Blative, Multi Vector Assault Mode. We can actually do you there. Evasion plus five, although actually the ablative plating looks a lot better. Why does the vessel divide into three sections, each with its own warp core and warp drive capability, able to conduct piloted and remote controlled movement and attack activities? I'm thinking actually ablative armor there. And then say... Yeah, so this is the multi-vector assault mode Prometheus. That's that version. Oh, yeah, Alpha. What's the difference between Alpha, Beta, and Gamma? I think there isn't, but let's do one of each because it should be Alpha, Beta, Gamma, because that's what it would be. So save. Oh, and then I need... Let's just do one of each, because there are four. And then if we go here, we're just going to fill empty and then save. So that's the multi-vector assault mode version. Let's go for the tactical version. Save. We need a torpedo version. Torpedo version. Save. And then we have the uh, large mount. complete. That's two of the very heavy spinal phase cannons. Yep, save. And we can get rid of the normal one. And then if we scroll down some more... Sovereign flagship. Flagship assault cruiser. Yeah, there's nothing there. So I think that's now everything. That looks like everything. So, into our fleet manager. Um, let's add in some of these ships. So let's start from the bottom with our bigger ships. Yeah, and the Vestas are going to be the largest. Um, let's do a multi... Let's do two multi-missions there. And then what else can we add in? We have a very small... Can't even... Oh, Protostar class. Let's add in a... No, can't even add that in. But we can add in a California class. Let's do a Command California. So here we need to... These are fine. The Excelsior needs... Oh, this is the USS Titan fleet. Why does it still have an Excelsior? Okay. That was uh, not meant to be like that. Anyway, let's go back to the USS Titan fleet. And say, get rid of those... Excelsiors, Sovereign class, Lunar class. Oh, in fact, are we not supposed to be that high? Where is the USS Titan fleet? Here. 359. Why is there so much... Something's gone slightly wrong here. Let's... Uh, let's go like that. 
Yeah, that's what it should be. Okay, let's leave that fleet alone then. Um, Luna class, that's fine. Oh, well, actually, we could... With Cisco, that's the reason why we can add in so many more ships, but we're not going to do that just yet. Because Cisco's busy at the moment. Um, those are fine. First fleet. Let's get rid of you. And let's add in... Whatever we can add in. The largest of whatever we can add in. We can add in a Prometheus. Um, shuttle exploration. Let's go for the multi-vector assault mode version then. Seventh fleet. Uh, we're about to lose you, so we won't do anything there. Let's go as many cruisers, as many uh, sovereigns as possible. As many. Oh no, not you. Obsolete fleet. What else can we add in here? We can add in a Prometheus. Let's do a tor torpedo Prometheus. You're merging with obsolete fleet, and that's what all of you are doing, so that's fine. That's class ships. Can't add in any more. That's fine. Okay. So that's all of our fleets. So you can upgrade and then go back to Trill. And that's our only upgrade, actually. That's fine. So let's try and buy some more alloys. So we need... Let's go like that. Yes, let's just sell down you as much as we can. Let's go like that. Survey there, now we're at our max, and we can even go for 2,500. Sell some of you. Let's sell one, two, three, four, five. Oh, review the Klingons. Let's go for the... Oh. We don't have enough yet. I could just leave this. You know what? Let's just leave that over on the side for now. Um, let's sell some more of you like that. Like that. And like that. You know what? Let's go even farther down. Oh, a disturbing thought. Up is down, but we gained a bunch of research from that, so I'm happy about that. Can we buy some more? 62. Let's sell like that. We still need a thousand. Let's go like that and like that. And we can go like that. Beautiful. High intensity? Oop. And pause. It's going to need, what, three months? Oh, keep up the search. We cannot reveal ourselves until these events conclude. We will not dismantle. Ah, okay. What's happening there? Oh, it hasn't popped up here. Oh, we just need to do this at some point. Okay. So, unpause. You're going to be there in... 18 days, so this one's basically taken care of. Losing energy credits in 12 months. Oh, uh, the directive has been upheld. We finally recovered the body of the missing scientist on Capella, or what remained of it at any rate. Fell victim to a large indigenous predator, but at least the pre-FTLs are still oblivious to our presence. That's a shame that she died, but um, better than contaminating the primitives, the pre-FTLs, so that's good. The future is our birthright. Oh, Suleban has pledged a secret fealty to us. Yes, that's great. Thank you. So it's still going to be, what, two more months before we actually get to do anything about that influence. And here, low stockpile. Ships Let's sell like this and like... Oh, let's deploy this mining operation. We might get something from it. Or not might. We will get something from it. We won't know what it is, though. Go like that. Yeah, and that's now we have more than enough energy for a long time. Cisco, let's give you a trickster level two. Yeah, and unpause. Almost just the end of this month, and then we will be able to. Construction yeah. complete. We'll be able to do this high intensity negotiations. That brings us up to, what, 45%. Yep, yeah, that would be good. So, or, uh, 
the Seamus, you are there. Relic activation possible? I don't really want to activate a relic. I thought we were going to destroy the Aberanth. Activation cost, 100. Let's do that. Oh, and let's go for the high intensity negotiations. Um, destroy the Aberanth. Oh, asteroid is approaching Neural. Which is over here. We do have this fleet here. Let's have you jump there and then attack that specifically. New technology, that's increased to encryption. We can increase, increase the trade value, so I think that's what I'm going to do now. And the last thing I'm going to do is build a bunch of ships because we can build them. So if we say reinforce, that is Luna, Avesta, Vesta, and the California. And it looks like that's all we're building. Okay, well I think... Survey oh, complete. you can upgrade again. Then let's do it. Upgrade again. Let's do that. And then this is where I'm going to put the cut in this episode. So I do hope you've enjoyed this one. If so, definitely please remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time for an episode of Jamie Plays. Bye for now.